It's 4 a.m. on Park Lane, and around 50 rough sleepers from Romania are about to be woken up. So take your belongings and yourselves over there, please, Make as soon as possible. Morning, Nick Ward from Westminster Council. And also on this operation, immigration officials, Met Police and officers from Romania. Thank you. For many months, this patch of grass on the central reservation has been a place to sleep. But if the authorities get their way, it won't be any more. We wanted an opportunity to have them all in the same place so that we could get the message to them that there's this opportunity for reconnection back home and also to explain to them that we're not um, happy about the rough sleeping on Marble Arch and some of the kind of health and safety implications that the local community is suffering. What was being offered this morning was a free flight or coach trip back home, with the bill picked up by the taxpayer. How much does the flight cost the taxpayers? It's about £50 and it's about £20 for a coach. Do you think but that's good value? To actually enforceably remove someone costs between thirteen and fifteen thousand pounds. So it is good value for taxpayers. If you come back to here, yeah, then you're going to be in trouble. So the point is they didn't have to go today. By European law they can stay for up to ninety days. They were asked to volunteer. They're reluctant to go at the moment. I wouldn't say they don't want to go at the moment. I, I honestly think that there's a few of them that we can actually um, encourage that it is the right thing, particularly any women that are pregnant. But in the past, some of those who have left have just come back. So could it happen again? Do you think this is going to work or are they just going to come back? Well, that chap just um, outlined it for us very nicely in terms of what his choices are. He's saying that he's saved up to come here. He found himself here a month ago. He's been living out of bins for the last month. He came here to nothing. He's going back to nothing. But frankly, the nothing here is better than the nothing there to his mind. Today, though, around 20 people chose to leave. And many of the others have been served with a notice to go within 30 days. Gareth Furby, BBC London News.